All right, let's see here. MSI Optics G2 4C LED gaming monitor. Um, 144 hertz, basically all I care about. Mm, nothing beats the fresh smell of China. All right, I got everything um, assembled for the most part. Now all that's left is to hook it up and turn it on. Alright, so as I'm recording this right now, it's been a little over a week since I've gotten the monitor, and I first want to say some stuff about the experience before I go into whether or not it's beneficial with PvP. Let me tell you, 144Hz is so nice, it's so cool to look at. If you've never seen a 144Hz or a high refresh rate panel in your entire life, going from the jump to 60Hz to 144Hz is extraordinary it's like you'll be spending the first few hours of your life just moving your crosshair around on screen like you'll you never think that moving your mouse on screen is enjoyable but it's just it's so cool but um some stuff about my monitor itself um I, I'll, I'll put the product uh the exact like i the product id in the description if you want to check out uh, check it out but um uh the the panel itself is curved uh, I thought that was uh, worth mentioning. Um, did curved have anything to do with my experience? I'd say, eh, it, it, it's really something that I thought would be a gimmick, and it's it didn't really like. It's not something that's gonna improve you. Does it look visually nicer? Debatably. I mean, it's not a downside, but I don't think it's a real big positive either. Um, also, the colors of the monitor. One thing that I did almost immediately was I installed a separate color profile, a professional color profile. Um, it did help the colors a little bit. So, um, if you do pick up. Uh, 144 hertz monitor any mo uh, any monitor really go look up if you can find color profiles online made for that specific model and you can probably get better colors just right off the bat but um now on to the experience itself and i'm going to try to put a little example up on screen of what i'm talking about imagine you're playing on 20 fps as opposed to playing 60 fps 20 FPS is obviously like way more laggy. You're gonna do worse on it. It's just, uh, it, it's not that good of an experience as opposed to playing on 60 FPS. But you notice the, the stutteriness. You notice how it's visually just not clear. Imagine the same thing being applied from 60 to 144 hertz. Now, although I can't show what 144 hertz looks like on screen, let me tell you, after playing on it for a while, 60 hertz looks laggy. That's how like good it really is. Um, and it, it, after playing on it for a while, you start to realize, wow, 60 hertz has actually been one of the things that's been holding you back from getting better. Now, I want to say this in an accurate way because will 144 hertz make you better at pvp well it depends and let me explain so minecraft is mostly a tracking aim based game there's there's different types of aims there's flick aim there's tracking aim etc minecraft is based around tracking aim and 144 hertz really does make tracking aim feel a lot smoother and a lot better um it's just way more fluid moving your cursor around lining up your crosshair with your targets it's so much easier it feels way more responsive when you do that um but with that it's that's not going to instantly make you better as with anything in life you have to put time into it you have to put effort into it um having 144 hertz will give you the ability to possibly improve farther than what you have before. That's that's just the thing with 144 hertz. Um, if you feel like you're, you've been playing on your peak performance at 60 hertz, you probably still will do better on 144 hertz because it gives you the room to improve. It's it removes the limiting factor in tracking, right? But once again, in order to really improve, you're gonna have to put time into it. You're gonna have to put effort, you're gonna have to play the game a lot. You're gonna have to get used to 144 hertz, which isn't that hard, but just putting time and investing time into getting better really is the only way to get better. But don't take that as a reason not to get 144 hertz because 144 hertz will make that experience of getting better a lot easier. So that's pretty much it. Um, I'll have a bunch of clips showing um, me on 144 hertz. Uh, I I've been pretty nutty recently, so it it it's just really cool. But I'll I also want to briefly talk about other games besides um, Minecraft. 
uh, games like um, Overwatch, Fortnite, I've played a little around with them. Um, yeah, aiming, it does feel easier. However, I'm not really good at those games, so I'm not gonna bother putting up clips and stuff. Um, Osu, Osu is mostly a flick, a, a flick based aim game. Um, I'll put some clips of that up on screen. It did make Osu a little easier for me. Um, I actually got some pretty nuts plays on Osu, which I'll show. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Anyways, um, if you think I left something out, if you think um, you, there's more that you want to say, please leave down below in the comments. I want to see everyone's feedback. But um, yeah, thanks for watching. Peace.